Hello guys, in this video we will see how to compute split half reliability coefficient that is Spearman Brown coefficient with help of Excel. Usually it is done in SPSS as it gives you more options to uh, compute. But in Excel, if you don't have SPSS in Excel with help of Excel, you can compute Spearman Brown coefficient. For that, I have this data. In my test, let us assume that this is a hypothetical example. I have total number of items 8 in my test ranging from item 1 to item 8 in this data sheet you can see all items and uh, the very first uh, column I have dedicated to names of the respondents second is age followed by gender and ID and from column E if you check these are actual values for items the first row however I have uh, like, uh, kept for item numbers I have dedicated that from actual responses starts from this uh, cell and uh, till this cell they continues for all 20 respondents in my test so in order to compute SBC that is Spearman Brown coefficient that is nothing but split half reliability all you have to do is uh, you need to find average of first half of the test for all respondents average of second half of the test for all respondents and then correlation coefficient between first half and second half of the test and then some couple of other calculations which require uh, for you to reach up to SBC that is Spearman Brown coefficient. So first we will uh, go for average of first half of my test that is I'll call it as average 1 okay and uh, average 1 we will compute with help of this formula average double click on average it will activate it asks me to select numbers for average so I'll select first half of my test which consists of four items for the first respondent and I'll hit enter this will give me average of first respondent named Avishek in my sample uh, for first four items so this is nothing but average of Avishek on first four items now I'll drag this down it will give me values for all other respondents in my test now again same thing I'll go for average 2 that is second half of the test for second half again I'll use the same formula of average and ask me to select some values from 5 to item number 8 I have to select for the second half of my test as I have total 8 items so second half would consist of item 5, 6, 7 and 8 and I'll hit enter this is average for the second half I'll write down for all the respondents so now I have two averages over here with me now the next thing I am interested in is Pearson uh, correlation so I'll call it as correlation over here correlation value I need that is uh, we will use Pearson for that so Pearson's formula is here I'll double click on that it asks me to select two arrays so array 1 I'll select first remember that don't uh, select it from average 1 because these are new uh, these are alphabetical uh, values or alphanumeric value which this software will not accept this is array 1 then I will put comma and array 2 is this which will indicate in red color okay I'll complete this bracket and, bracket and hit enter this gives me correlation between these two averages of first and second half of my test for all the respondents now I'm interested in calculating two different values one is 2r and the second value I'm interested in is 1 plus 2r so first we will calculate 2r I'll call it as 2r over here formula for that is nothing but I have to multiply correlation by 2 so 2 asterisk stands for multiplication which I have kept over here and this is the second value I have selected and I hit enter this gives me value of 2r now I am interested in 1 plus r so 1 plus r we will call it as and formula for that would be equal to 1 plus this correlation r stands for correlation so that is 1 plus r and hit enter this gives me 1 plus r now I want to calculate the final step that is SBC Spearman Brown coefficient so I'll call it as SBC over here there is no asset short form but then I'm using it for the convenience purpose I'll put again equal to and I have to divide 2r by 1 plus r so in the numerator 2r value would be there and in the denominator there would be a 1 plus r value so this value I'll select in the numerator the slash in your keyboard stands for divide so I'll put that and I'll divide it by 1 plus r as the value and hit enter this gives me Spearman Brown coefficient that is uh, 0.640843 for me now this value any value below 0.7 is questionable anything above 0.7 is uh, acceptable anything above 0.8 is good so in split half and let us check that whether this value is accurate or not with help of SPSS so I'll again uh, put this 
entire data of all eight items of 20 respondents in SPSS. I'll copy paste that. I've already done for that. Uh, I'll, I'll directly go there and I can check that I have uh, all my data over here. Now in variable view, you can check how I have defined these variables. So this is the first variable. These all remaining values are by default selected by SPSS. I've just entered item one, that is I1. I stands for item. And here measures I have uh, kept all scale. However, for this uh, Likert scale, many people suggest to go for ordinal and some of uh, are of the view that scale uh, itself is enough to indicate. So some people call it as ordinal, uh, take it as ordinal value, some as scale. So we'll stick to scale. Uh, however, even if you select ordinal, it will not change your coefficient a lot. So again, we will go in data view and let us compute split half reliability for uh, again, go in analyze for that, go in scale, reliability analysis, click on that. It will open over here. I have already selected items, but then it won't be here. It will be here in this box for you. Okay, so all eight items I have with help of control A, you can select all in one go and uh, on this small icon, if you click, it will shift your uh, item numbers to this second box in statistics you can check on uh, these items i've already checked it will be blank for you it will appear like this so you'd be interested in descriptives for item scale and scale if item deleted and in inter item correlations uh, we are interested in so we will check on these uh, these boxes over here uh, anything else is not required uh, for as of now it is concerned we'll continue with the same and uh, here I have some couple of options over here in model to select. By default, it would be alpha would be selected. We will go for split half, which we are interested right now in. And click on OK will generate result for me. Now this is uh, output page of SPSS, which will compare with the value in Excel. So in Excel value, I have this uh, point SBC as spare one ground coefficient as 0.6408. And in this, if you see, this is rounded off to 641, which is quite close to this SBC. But actually, uh, Excel is giving you more accurate value than SPSS. If you double click on that, it will activate and double click on value. It will give you the same exact value that uh, is available in Excel for you. So SPSS is actually giving you a rounded value, rounded off value for this uh, Spearman Brown coefficient. So this is accurate. We are following the correct procedure. Now. As we know that in split half we have different other options available to go for okay other options as in uh, there can be options like um, or even you can go for or you can split your test in four equal halves and first and fourth quadrant you can uh, compare and second and third quadrant you can compare in order to do that we will uh, and that is one thing or even is uh, the other method which which can go for so all odd, odd, odd items will consist of first half and all even items will consist of second half of the test. So let us try those two things as well and let us check whether our values in Excel would be accurate or not. So in order to do that, we will have again average, same uh, steps I am repeating. Average 1 is average of all odd items. 1 stands for odd. So we'll go for average 1 as odd items. Now for that, you will have to put formula average and uh, instead of directly selecting values we will use comma in between so one is odd number first number i have selected comma second number uh, odd number in my test is item number three which i have selected item number five i will select and item number seven i will select as my fourth item in the test okay so all item odd items are there and this is average of all odd items for me and i'll drag this down for all the values and respondents average 2 would be the average of all even numbers for that again the same formula i will use average and the second formula i'll use this average now i will fully select only even number so this is first even number item number two comma second uh, even number is five then uh, six and then eight so i've selected all uh, this complete this formula okay all even numbers i've selected and this is the average i'll write this down give me okay now i'm interested in correlation between these two odd and even items this is average 2 i'll call it as average 2 for even numbers okay so correlation i'm interested in spearman uh sorry pearson's correlation between these two so pearson i'll activate this formula i'll select array 1 same procedure i'm following nothing else put comma then array 2 and 
hit enter this gives me correlation now i'm interested in 2r so again 2r i'll put it as equal to 2 asterisk and this is correlation 2r value i have now 1 plus r i'm interested in 1 plus r equal to 1 plus this is r for me i've selected hit enter now i'm just i'm directly going to compute this sbc for me pearman brown coefficient which is nothing but equal to this i have to divide 2r by 1 plus r so 2r i'll select first in the numerator and divide by this value it will give me this uh, coefficient and let us check this value in uh, spss whether it is generating the same thing or not directly go in analyze uh, go in scale this will have the analysis we will check on so this box will appear over here if you check now i have all items in sequence i want to keep those uh, the sequence as odd and even so all even odd items i'll select in the first half of the test let me do that so as of now you can check that i have item all uh, odd items in the first half one three five seven and all even items in the second half that are two four six and eight and uh, already i have selected all these default options over here and split half is there you can check on that and click ok it will give you value for split half with help of this uh, item numbers if you check or even method we have used okay and that is giving you value of 0 0.628 and in excel we have computed the value over here as 627 okay it is rounded off again in spaces click on that double click on the value it gives you the same exact value that is available in excel for you okay and then third uh, deviation in this formula or deviant formula we can use is uh, quadrant method for that i will delete these values as they are no longer in use for me okay i'll take it on full screen and let us do it quickly do it for uh, quadrant method average i'll call it as now average one underscore average four so i'm taking two quadrants together that is average of first quadrant and fourth quadrant and in the second half we will go for average uh, second and third quadrant now for that uh, all i have to do is take average of this so again average i'll select this formula now i'm I have to be very careful for four quadrants in my test now i have eight items and in four quadrants if i divide there will be two two items in each quadrant so first quadrant and fourth quadrant i will have to put in so one comma item number two i have selected in the first quadrant and now item number uh, seven and eight would be the part of first quadrant because i'm uh, having these two quadrants uh, together so item number seven i will select and item number eight i will select. so i have now four quadrants uh, together over here and this is the average of first and fourth quadrant together i'll drag this down for all 20 respondents it will give me values now i'm interested in average of second and third quadrant so i'll call this average two underscore three and let us again apply the same formula average okay now carefully select only items in third and fourth quadrant so now i can actually uh, use multiple values together because they are in uh, the same line or uh, following each other there is no gap in between i'll hit enter this is average for second and uh, third quadrant be very careful while selecting values and uh, drag this down this will give me average of second and third quadrant now i'm interested in correlation same thing okay correlation pearson correlation we will go for array one i'll select this comma array two complete this uh, bracket and hit enter this gives me correlation between two uh, quadrants uh, that is quadrant one and four and quadrant three and four, uh, two now i'm interested in 2r as a value so put 2r over here and uh, apply the formula 2 multiplied by this is r for me and i'm interested in 2 1 plus uh, r so 1 plus r i'll call it as and this is the value for me 1 plus this value hit enter now i'm interested in the final coefficient that is sbc spearman brown coefficient for that i'll have to divide these two values 2r would be divided by 1 plus r so this is the first value the slash stands for divide second value divide so this is the 
value for me if I go for quadrant method. Now in SPSS let us check whether this same value it generates or not. So I'll go in data view again. You can make it on full screen. I have defined variables uh, just like they are already. So I've shown that to you. I'll go in analyze in scale in reliability analysis. Now I'll uh, select all these items. I'll bring back and again I'll uh, those would be in sequence now. Control A select all and with a small icon we can put those here now all i have to do is i just have to move my fourth quadrant above uh, just after first quadrant otherwise like second and third quadrant are inlined already so i'll keep these two seven over here and eight over here so now you can check that i have first second eight, seventh and eighth so it's first and second quadrant i have in the first half and third and fourth quadrant are followed by in statistics I have selected the same options which you can again confirm and uh, here I have selected split half click OK it shall generate the same value now if you see this 0.525 is the value generated by SPSS and in Excel we have computed the same value here you can check that we are uh, pretty close so actually I mean this if you double click again you can check that actual value is the same as uh, we have in Excel Okay, so you can compute split half without any um, problem in Excel with help of these formulas over here and you can use all its variants like or even uh, quadrant method and usual split half that is first and second half of your test. Just be careful in selecting values that's more important and apart from that everything is easy. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this video will be useful for you. Feel free to contact me if you face any difficulties in computation of Spearman-Brown coefficient with help of Excel.